Hey, this is Ben, and this is the Canon 35mm IS macro lens with a built-in ring light that you probably saw on a second ago. This is a very cool lens that works on crop sensor Canon bodies, so I'll show you some sample photos and videos taken with it on this Canon SL3. On the side, we have three switches. We have the stabilizer on and off. We have autofocus and manual focus. We, of course, have a manual focus ring. And on the front, you'll notice that there is a ring light built into this, which you can actually activate by pressing this button here. So once you activate that ring light, you can do one side, bright or dim, or you can do the other side, bright or dim, or if you wanted both, you can hold down and it will do both sides bright or dim which is super duper cool. Now, if you didn't want that, you can put the add-on piece on it, which just screws on like so, and that blocks the light. Now, even if you're not using the light actually on, you may get a white reflection in your subject, and if you don't want that, you need to get this piece and put it on, and then you can put regular filters, like a UV filter in front of that, or a polarizer, whatever you wanna use, which is very cool. Now, let's hop onto the computer and take a look at the images. These images are slightly edited and I worked on them in Capture One, but you could do the same thing in Lightroom as long as you shoot raw. And I will show you the first image here. So the first image I have is actually a crop from a larger image, which I took of some soapy water inside of a shot glass. I think it came out really cool to give it some color since I lacked food coloring. What I did is I dropped a red vitamin in the bottom of the shot glass. And this was the photo I got. Now, as you could see, this image taken at F 1.8 or rather f 2.8 was a little blurry on the left side here I should have done this probably around f 14 to f 20 So the right side seems fairly sharp, but the shutter speed is a little bit slow and I'm no macro professional at all So what I did is I liked the right side of this image So I turned it into a vertical crop As you can see there and I think the image came out pretty cool. I'd be proud to display that now onto the second image, this one came out a little bit sharper. This one's at f2.8. I got the bubbles a little bit more in line. I did a slight crop here because the corners were very blurred out. So you do get a very shallow depth of field with this lens, but I think it came out nicely. Again, there's some very detailed parts like this right here and then slight blur there. So keep in mind, although it is an f2.8, you do need to shoot probably around f14. So you need a ton of light to shoot with this. This is an example photo I want to show you. One, to show the macro scale because this does do one-to-one. -one. So this is a micro SD card that goes in a GoPro or a cell phone. And as you can see, it got huge, but it missed focus. I did use autofocus. It focused a little more on the back behind the actual subject. You can see there's tiny fibers and hairs and things on this little cap. This is actually my vitamin bottle. And then I put the micro SD card on top, but you can see there's a lot of detail. There's this cool design that is printed in these cards, except you can't really see it in focus because the camera missed just slightly. Now, if we look at this image, this is awesome. This is my eyeball. You can see that reflection of the white ring. So I did not have the cover on. This I should redo with the cover uh, piece on top. And then I have my computer monitor, this one right here, actually reflecting in my eye. But as you can see, this is a crop from a full image. I was looking with my other eye at the camera's screen that I had flipped out like this. So I literally just put my face as close as I could, looked in the screen and got the image. And I'm very, very happy with how this came out. Keep in mind, if you had a higher megapixel camera, you'd get an even better image, but this lens again only works on crop sensor Canon bodies. Next up, we have a snake plant. This was at F9, 1 25th of a second, ISO 400. You can see all the detail, sort of the cuts, scratches, and grain that we have, the texture of the snake plant. Again, only this leaf and the one to the right really in focus. Uh, the one in the foreground definitely blurred out, so you need a F29 or F32 to get that, or you need to focus stack. Here's an image with no edits at all, no cropping either. This is a baby cherry tomato. As you can see, all the texture, the little wrinkling that's going on in it, which is awesome. And then we have even a little bit of water droplets on it with some dirt in there. So tons of detail here. You can see that I cut the tomato. We got detail in there as well. I did a little bit of exposure adjustment on this. And then you can see this image, I changed the background. I actually just added a paper bag behind and you can see the texture in the paper bag, the little scratches and things. And you can see there's even a little, looks like some sort of hairline or a cut in the tomato here. You can see a little um, sprout of black right there. I'm not sure what that is, but a lot of reflection in the light. You can see that the lens is very, very sharp. Again, very shallow depth of field. I could boost this exposure up and there we have our image. So that is the Canon 35mm f2.8 macro IS lens. 
I think it's fantastic. If you're interested in buying it and you want to shoot some macro stuff, it's really fun. You can get really creative with it. I recommend it. Now, if you're wondering how I got the lens, that's actually thanks to Lens Rentals. They did actually provide me with this lens so that I can make the video. And if you want to try out their lens, any camera equipment that they have on LensRentals.com, use the link below and you can get 15% off your order. It also helps the channel because I'm a Lens Rental affiliate, so I appreciate you. If you have any questions, leave a comment down below. I hope you enjoyed this video and I'll see you in the next one. Thanks for watching. Peace.